Thank you so much, everyone. Sir. So thank you for joining this particular session. So this is the introduction to the internship that we're doing. So this is where you're going to have all the information that you need to have. So there will be time for question and answers. So, but as I go along, I know if anything actually prompts on at you, you want to ask quickly, you can put it on the chat. So I'll be looking at the chat, but at the end, there'll be time that you can ask questions anyway. So, yeah. So for this session, we are going to do the business analysis, data analysis, Chrome master, software testing, uh, agile delivery manager and project management and the product owner training. So these are the courses that we are focusing on this particular session here. Okay, so yeah, welcome to Blue Sky Citadel and Retycon Internship Program. And who are we, right? So most of people, you already know us, Blue Sky is a charity organization in the UK. We actually pioneer free uh, because initially people of our color, it's, yeah, you don't see them offering this service in, before now anyway. So since 2007, we've been, we've been doing this anyway, transforming different lives and also putting people in career. And yeah, we do this through this mentorship program that we have. And some of my mentors have been with us since 2011 and they've got jobs. They are still trying giving back as well. So we have people with experience on, on this on this platform. And I've, even in total, you will see almost like uh, 80 people working with us to ensure that this is this happen is a big platform anyway. So and you are not by yourself, you have people, yeah helping you out in, in your journey. So that's Blue Sky. So of course, there's a partnership with Icon, which is a UK consultancy company, because yeah, this is, yeah, if we Icon us uh, provide this uh, training and for us to be able to provide this training through subsidized rate and everything, that's why we're using a charity organization, Blue Sky for that. Otherwise it will be, kind of expensive or yeah. So it's avenue to to give back to the society and Blue Sky provide a, a platform for different mentors and tutors. And some of the tutors that you're going to see on this platform has got their own training um, um, platform, different places. And for most of the happy, um, their trainings are even more expensive, even if you go away from Blue Sky anyway. So you see them actually charging a lot more and you sometimes have to even speak to them that <laughs> Blue Sky is just a charity, so come and do it on Blue Sky. But of course, it has to be with subsidized rate anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so myself, yeah, this is me, uh, DG Emmanuel. So I am one of the only 500 uh, MVPs in the, in the UK who, yeah, with Microsoft. Uh, you have 300, 3,000 MVPs globally, actually. So an MVP is a elite group with Microsoft, where it means that every product that Microsoft released out, you get to see them first, you get to review them, you get to give feedback to Microsoft. So basically, in technically, I work for Microsoft on in that aspect anyway. So I'm also a fellow of the Chartered Management Institute. I've also got uh, executive MBA from London City Business School and also advanced uh, computer science and AI with Edinburgh University. And I started from Nigeria, University of Illinois. So every Unilever rights you know, to say hello. Yeah, so I'm also a seasoned Kiwi, actually, so with advanced ISTKB, and also I'm a certified Scrum Master as well. And I've also done product owners before as well, which is similar to a BA. I'm also a an experienced developer, right? I started my career as a developer anyway, so which actually makes me a perfect person to do this because every role I've kind of done it. And one thing I also wish I didn't put there, my first role, even after I finished, was a DA, a data analyst as at the bank in in 
in Nigeria then. It was then, I didn't even know I was in AD anyway until when I came to the UK and I thought, oh, that was Europe. And even though I didn't like Europe because I was very, very technical and I thought that they are just wasting my time there because I wanted to be in the IT department. But eventually, I found myself in the marketing department, assessing their data, analyzing the data, putting presentation on the data. It was, yeah. So, but to be honest, it was a good experience yeah, anyway. So not to bore you with, with that anyway. So uh, I've also got experience working with different companies like HSBC, Rabo Bank, European Bank, Ordinance Survey. So most of you that don't know Ordinance Survey, it's any, any land that you work in in the UK is being mapped by Ordinance Survey. They are the Google map of the UK. So uh, yeah, and other banks that, that, like that as well. So yeah. So if you want to follow me on LinkedIn, you see my profile. So DJ Ogunaja, just search or DJ Manner, anyone. So I think you will see my my pictures. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to the most interesting part and I'll leave the boring part, which is myself. So so the most interesting part for this particular program, we are going to do software testing, business analysis, product owners and Scrum Master, Agile Delivery and Project Management, Data Analysis. So that will be the focus. And the program will start, um, yeah, it's already started anyway. So like we, you know, September 7th, which is today up to December 7th. And yeah, I put 7 to 11 um, in there. So because this, this will be the range of the time that you're going to do different thing activities but normally, uh, on the trainings would be, if you are, I say training now, because there's practical part that you have to do. There's also the training part that would also ask you to, to, to go and do. So, and the training part always happen at 8 to 10 p.m., right? Then after that, you are free to have your team meetings and everything and some Training can go to 11 o'clock. We try as much as possible not to pass that. But in, in the time past, uh, some tutors, including myself, has been so enthusiastic and we <laughs> we we kind of stretch the limit anyway. But we try as much as possible to finish early. So, but from seven to eight, you might be doing some other meetings with your like stand up, all this happen at that time anyway. So, but this is going to be our you're going to this structure so just to give you insight okay so i always call this training on the job training on uh, the set you know, the meaning being the fact that you have opportunity to practicalize everything that you're going to to see here right this is is very important so one minute let me see if i can it's... Okay, so you have opportunity to practicalize what you you do here, right? Because that's why I call we call it on the job training. So we will train you, right, with the assumption that you are already working with us, right? Then what you need to do will tell you you need to do this now. Then you have opportunity to go and do it. So that's why this program has been successful because it's so practical. Even though we still look into the theory part, we tell you on oh, this is what you need to do. If I'm at war, what will I do as a BA, right? My first day as a BA, what will I do? So we'll tell you what you need to do and we'll give you the tools, the resources, and then we'll, you will go and do it. So the first thing that you have is you're going to be working with development team, right? What's the development team? We'll let you know. But what happens is like you are not hired to develop an application, right? You are hired to develop an application. You're going to be working with a team. It's really, really go going to be interesting. And I, I know there will be frictions. There will be a lot of things. That's even that happen as work with new teams anyway. So I know a lot of people have got different things. You got different work and everything. If you miss a session, right, the session will be recorded. But one thing that I do advise people is try as much as possible not to miss any training because one, Within this session, you have opportunity to ask questions, ask from the tutors, ask from the mentors. That, but yeah, whether you are there or you are not there, those training sessions will be recorded and you can view them on Prep Major, right? 
So the, which is a portal that we use. I'll talk about Prefinger later. So, and during the course of this program, you have opportunity to create your CV, right? We are not going to create it for you, but you will, we will tell you how to create it. We assume that you don't have a CV. We assume that you don't know what to do. We'll tell you when you want to create your CV, open this application, put this content in there, put this there, put this there, and at the end, so you do it by yourself. When you finish, right, we'll review the CV with you. If it makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, we'll tell you if it makes sense, we, if it doesn't make sense, what you need to adjust, what you need to do. So um, that's what we'll do. So then after that, we'll also show you how to apply for jobs as well. So where do you go to when you want to apply a job? What do you need to do? So what are the contents? What are the things that you need to put in there? Then after that, we will also, uh, let's say you now have interviews, right? Even before you have interviews, we will do interview preparation for you because I believe that the day you have interview is late for you to prepare, right? So you will be preparing even before the interview comes, right? And then this program, you have mentors, you have tutors, you have body. So it's basically a bit of hand holding, but you will do most of the job, right? One thing I can tell you is like, I will do most of the talking <laughs> and some of my tutors also do most of the talking, right? But you will do most of the job because you've been hired to do the job, right? And that's why it's very, very interesting because we have live projects and you would get in there, get your hand dirty and do that. But we'll give you everything that you need to be able to do it. That's the most important. Whether whatever the roles that you decide to go for, right, they are going to be similar anyway. Anyway. So the tutors will look at okay, you don't know anything. Let's start from, from scratch. Yeah, take you from zero to become an, an hero. So okay, now at the end of the program, right, you will be given a certificate, right? Then also you also be given a reference as well. So we'll give reference based on the time that you spent on the program. So one thing I can say, don't come back and say, oh, DG, or oh, the team, can you give reference from 2020 to date when you've only joined just now? We don't do that because of, we don't want to spoil the name of the, yeah. I know some companies, they can do that if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, that's fine. You can go and meet them anyway. But yeah, we give reference for the time that you spend with us, right? And that's yeah, that so that we we keep it and because most of the comp uh, recruiters already know us right now anyway. So let's talk about the structure. Oh uh, yeah, of the team, right? So you are going to be putting a development team in your team. You, I, th I will speak about that later. So yeah, so you also be giving a project, right? So before you be given your project, there will be a project mandate which they will give to you, right? So if you don't know what a project mandate is, don't worry, we will let you know, right? When it comes, we know. So this is one of those terminologies that you will hear anyway. So we're going to be talking about these terminologies and the buzzwords anyway. But if you don't know them, you can, yeah, ask or put a comment. But as you go along, it's gonna be, yeah, making sense anyway. So you will be doing onboarding, right? So, and there'll be tools that you're going to use. It's very, very important for you to sign the terms and conditions. And the, one of the admins already sent the terms and conditions. One is hopefully we are not able to use it or we will not use it, right? So it's, it's a guide for us. It should, in case we have to use it, right? So it's like an insurance. You sign the tiny document. You pray that you are not going to use it, but if it happens. So it's a guide for us. So you need to know what you're expecting. So because these are our rules, our ethic and everything. So so that next time, if you come back to say, oh, this we say, okay, this is what you agree to do. And sometimes it makes us to actually get quality people because your team member, they like, will rely on you, right? will lie on you being committed, will lie on you being able to do the job. So this is very, very important for us anyway. So, okay, this is this is first thing, no refund, okay? From today, you are not going to get any refunds. Please don't come to me or to my team to ask for refund. So even most of us already kind of watch the videos that I put on it. So it's basically, you cannot on see what you saw right so that's not possible so yeah you've technically been part of the program so yeah so 
the, that's why I put this in there. No, no refund on any cost anyway. The program already started. So even before I go ahead, right? So, and that means that I don't want to lose any one of you. I want everyone to finish because what happens like if you leave at the be beginning or at the end of the program when we've already put you in a team. So it sometimes affects the morale of the team of the team and sometimes they are discouraged. Or some people feel like, okay, they are not doing a lot more than what they should do. Right. So because of that, we don't encourage that anyway. So that's that's the reason this is uh, even most importantly. Because for instance, could you imagine that you have three BAs in a team and one of them leave, right? The other three will think, oh, we are four before, let's say, yeah, and let's say they are four and one of them becoming three. So he said, we are four before, and now one of them has left, and then they decide to say, oh, the work of four people, and there is only three people that are doing it. But if, in essence, it's only three people that were there before originally, they will still do the job. <laughs> That's what happens. They will still do the job without complaining. But even if you, if you put... 10 people there for that job and some of them decide to go, it will affect them, even though they know that it's only the job of four people or three people. So that's why I really want you to look into that. So, and yeah, so, and yeah, you cannot defer as well the same with the same reason because uh, by deferring means that you now, yeah, your team is affected, right? And also, it means that also right now we know that, okay, people are not coming in or something like that. So it cannot differ. It cannot, yeah. So let us get that clear as you go along. So uh, everyone that ends us, you finish anyway. So, yeah. So please, we get this clear now. Okay. And if I may say also, the program is very, very intense anyway. So this is very, very important. Yeah. So you are trying to get like three years um, experience within three months and you think it's not going to be intense if anyone is saying so if you've been to another program they are giving you that and it's not that intense go and get your money back but yeah it's going to be very very intense because we're going to get to you everything that you need to be able to get a job so that's where it's going to be intense so and yeah, so it's basically like we're trying to fast track your career exactly, making sure that you'll be where you should have been um, three years back, or you want to be where you need to be in the next three years. We are having to do that. So that's one thing that we are trying to achieve, but it's going to be very, very tedious. Uh, trust me. So that's why some people within the program, they ask the question, can I, I want to combine two courses together or don't do that to be honest. I don't, I don't even recommend that anyway. So, because it's really going to be really, really tedious at the time. So if you are a family man, let your people know, right. That the next three months you might have to stay up late or yeah. So, but I think one thing is very, very important. Family is good. And I still believe in, I believe strongly in family. Let it not affect your family, but plan ahead, plan very well. So this is very, very important anyway. So, yeah. So, and uh, okay, now talking about development team, right? In your team, you're going to have the agile delivery and project manager, actually. So I'm going to assume that most of them don't know what they need to do. And we're going to tell them this is what you need, your responsibilities are within the team. You're going to have the product owners. You're going to have the scrum masters. You're going to have the business analysts, the software testers, data analysis, you know, analysts, and the developers are not interns. They are the people working with me in Retacon. So they are developer developing uh, our applications that we are you know, clients for anyway. So, but they are in there to just support you for to you know, so that you're able to work with developers anyway. So that's one thing I can say. So, but one thing for whether you are ADM, Pro Owner, Scrum Master, BS, QA, or DA, right? So please be patient, right? Be patient with each other. That is very, very important because know that everyone here are here to learn, right? And some of them don't even have any experience on what they are going through. So you need to be very, very patient with one another. This is very, very important because there are some people, some people will get it quick. Some people will, will be slow. And rally around your team is very, very important, okay? So, and within the team also, you have 
support team as well from Ray Tycoon and also my mentoring team. So you, like I said, the developers are one of them. So you have the ADM mentors, you have the product owner mentors, you have the Scrum Master mentor and bodies as well. You have the business analyst mentors and bodies, you have the software testers mentors and bodies, you have the data analyst mentors and bodies, and then I have the, my support team. So my brilliant admin and support officer who has been doing very well, um, trying to onboard you, sending messages to you, so yeah, and also yeah, replying your messages and everything. So, and then also we have the tutors. Yeah, the difference between the tutors, the bodies, and the mentors, right? The tutors will do the teaching, right? They will teach you a concept, right? You go in there and practicalize that concept, right? Then if you are not able to do it, then you call your mentor because they are close to you to say, oh, they said we should do this. I'm not able to do that. Can you, yeah, help me or or can you review what I've done? That's right. Then also you have the bodies, right? The bodies are people like you that have gone this program before because this program is very, very intense and we've kind of have these bodies. These people would kind of befriend you trying to make you relax because and also ensure that you don't run away be their friends because they've gone through this program before they are also sitting where you are sitting anyway so they are sitting where you are sitting so which is very very important for you to know right so yeah so and one thing that i need to say about bodies right so they might help you in different ways right so but not everything right so yeah so that's one thing I can I can say to you, right? So yeah, and another thing is so okay. So within your team, right? I said we are going to be using agile. So we're going to do agile framework, okay? So you have the pro owner, you have your team. So you also going to have a pro backlog. So we use Azure DevOps, uh, yeah. So you're going to have some meetings, spring planning meetings, all this will follow, right? So you have the team charter, you have the scrum master, you have the daily standup, spring planning. So to be honest, if you don't know any of this, you don't need to worry. So all this we will cover and we'll do everything. So it's practical, right? You have opportunity to kind of cover this. So you're going to have, So you're going to have the opportunity to go through this. Yeah. So we're going to have not one sprint, two sprint, not three sprint, at least uh, five different sprints that we're going to have. So before you finish all the sprint, as long as you commit to the, you're going to have repetitive, right? You're going to do them every, uh, every now and then anyway. So yeah. Okay, so let me go through the escalation process because there will be times that you might have to escalate issues, right? So your first escalation person is your Scrum Master because that is why they're here. They're here to ensure that they remove your impediment or they help facilitate the removal of the impediment. So they are not going to remove them. They are going to ensure that, okay, the impediment are removed. So which means that uh, you need to use them, right? You need to use your Scrum Master very, very well. It, it is their role, right? Technically, it means that even right now, all those issues that you sent to admin will now go to the Scrum Master now, right? Before you send to the admin, it needs to go to the Scrum Master's first, right? So now let's assume the Scrum Masters are not able to resolve the issues and there are still some issues. So your ADM can step in, right? So ADM can step in onto the to help you. Right? If the ADM are not able, to resolve the issue, right? So you would speak to your bodies, right? There are different bodies, role bodies. If you're a BA, speak to your BA body. They should be able to point you into the right direction. They may not be able to resolve your issue, but because they've been on this program before, they will tell you what you need to do, how you need to do them, and if, but if they're not able to do so, right? Or resolve the issues, right? So the mentors are there. So escalate to the mentors or the bodies might also escalate to the mentors. So that's one thing I can ask them to do as well. So, and if the mentors are not able to do so, they might escalate to the admin, right? 
But one thing, ask them first before you now escalate your admin. So they would kind of speak to admin on your behalf and also the support thing. So, but if at any time you need to escalate or issues, send email to support at blueskycitalet.com. Support at blue sky citadel. I know of people not admin at blue sky, so support at blue sky citadel.com. That's the email address you need to send. So, if eventually you waited for like 24 hours or 48 hours, your issues are not resolved, speak to Pat, and then, yeah, then after that, you speak to myself. So, from this one, you can see that not my name is DJ, I'm the last person anyway. So, everything the uh everything stop at my at my table anyway but the good thing is like nothing comes to my table anyway because this from this hierarchy most of the issues will be resolved before it comes to me anyway so the issues that i tend to resolve is conflict within the team that even the support team are not able to resolve or someone says something that you are not supposed to say maybe i should say this very very quickly it's very very important this is a professional setting and please do so as well treat it as, as like that as well so one thing that you are not going to be confident or to say out there right don't say it on this platform right uh something that you are not going to be confident on your reference on your cv don't say it as, as well so treat everyone with respect with it's very very important and now on my support team also will treat you as respect as well so please ensure that yeah, even within your team as well, treat everyone with respect. I really want to emphasize this one. Please, uh, this is a professional settings. Uh, and one thing that I also want to say is like, uh, in there is a first, uh, first name calling basis, okay? So you are free to call my, my, my name is Deji, call me Deji also, not Mr. Deji, okay? Please, it's not it, uh, even it's not humility. It's, it's just it's just the work ethic. Okay, so it, that doesn't mean that you didn't respect or there's no. So it's just first name. So which also means that you call everyone by first name as well. So even if your grandpa or your dad is on this platform or my dad is, on, so it's first name. Okay, let's let's try to adhere to to that. Okay. So, and yo, okay, onboarding process, right? So uh, I've divided it into two weeks now. So in the first week, you have to resolve any issues uh, with Perk Major Portal. This goes into the ADM and also Scrum Master to be able to do this now. So th this will be, and um, the admin will answer. Uh, and I've actually put the uh, uh, escalation points. No, now, so any anyone that is having issues with the Perk Major Portal, so you have to go through your ADM or your Scrum Masters anyway. So then also you need to be able to watch those recorded videos on on prep on prep major. So those are previous videos that I've done the last set anyway. So they are really really important for you to watch. Uh, watch them. You got almost like one one week or two right to watch them and watch as many. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, just put them on replay. The, yeah, so that's fine. But because we're going to go through them again anyway, so some of them will make sense to you. But it really is going to be good if you just go through them. And when the program starts, we got the practical. You'll be able to ask informed this um, questions actually. So yeah, and also yeah, sign the terms and conditions. You know, Scrum masters ensure that all your team members. Uh, sign the terms and conditions. So also uh, follow Blue Sky Citadel on LinkedIn. This is very important. So be part of this organization. And in fact, you are part of it. So please, maybe we should post a one minute. So just search for Blue Sky Citadel on LinkedIn if you can do that right now. Do that. So, and yeah, follow the organization. Of course, you could also say you work for Blue Sky. That's fine. So that um, the recruiters can also see that you are, you're part of the of the uh, company anyway so yeah so that that's fine so if you can do that right now that that will really be good so yes so from next week right from next week we're going to do roles introductions so i'm going to advise everyone to attend this session from eight to i think it's, it's not even eight i think it's nine to ten one hour right one and nine to ten apologies for that so this is very very important so this training exposes you to this training exposes you to the uh what each of the role entails right 
So for instance, if you're a Scrum Master, it will tell you what is responsible for a Scrum Master, what you need to become a Scrum Master. It's just a quick introduction because you cannot do it. So this is what you're going to learn for the next three months. And But this one would open your eyes so that other roles also will come in and see what a Scrum Master should do, what is the responsible Scrum Master and everything, and you have opportunity to ask questions. So, so this, uh, for the next... Uh, from next week, yeah, this is going to happen. I would advise everyone to attend so that you can see what should what should a keyway do. Actually, even though you are not a keyway, you are a scrum master or a BA, you should be able to know anyway. So and also you have access to some Telegram groups. Right? So the main one, everyone should be should be there right now. If you are not there, so please let your scrum master know. Right. So if you don't know. For instance, if you are not in the teams uh, right now, you have you've not been uh, boarded. Of course, yeah, it's still responsibility of the admin. Send an email to admin at blueskycitalet.com, letting them that you are not in any Telegram group. So after that, you're going to be uh, added to Microsoft Teams, right? So which you're going to come later. So and oh, sorry, I'm I mean, so you're going to be in three Telegram groups, right? The first one you've been added to. The next one, within the next few days, you also need to be in your team's group, right? So, and you will, we have two teams right now. So you're going to be, we're going to be assigned to a team. So what's going to happen on, on Sunday, right? There will be a training on Sunday. There will be a meeting on Sunday. So, and you have opportunity to join as well. So that will be the final demo for the pre, um, for the sets that we are just doing, come and see what they are doing. Come and see what you've done. They've done so. I think you have opportunity to see them actually. So you see where they, maybe you have opportunity to hear, also hear from them. We'll send the in, in, information out so that you can listen to what they've done. So we'll be divided into these teams, and then also you also have the role guild or community, right? So these are the three communities or the groups that you need to attend. Then in week two, we'll start the sprint zero, right? You don't need to worry. If you don't know what a sprint is, what is sprint zero, don't worry about that anyway. So we're going to talk about that. So within this particular week, you have access to Microsoft team, access to Azure. You also going to have scrum meetings, kickoff meetings. You're going to have your bodies and mentor introduction meetings your project mandate will be given to you. You also need to do team charter. If you don't know what's a team charter, there'll be session for on that as well. So uh, yeah, access and procurement of development tools and yeah. So, and then also, yeah, the developers will be setting up your environment, which you're going to use to, yeah, build your tool. This is very, very important because I was speaking to a team, a present side team, and some of them did not even know the environment that what they are working on. So ensure that you know your environment. This is very, very important. What are the key environments or the different environment that you are working on? It's not only going to be for developers or the QS, it's also for the BAs and as well as for the Scrum Master. Know the environment, okay? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I know some people are having were having issues with uh videos on prep on prep major. So I just put this particular uh slide there. So if you are still having issues with the videos, the first thing register, right? If you have not registered. So if you have registered, login, right? Just go to prep major, click on login and So can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can I hear you, sir? Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Because he's saying that, yeah, uh, my mic is not working. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. So, okay, cool. Thank you. So, yeah, if you have no register, uh, if you have not registered, register. If you have registered, login. Just click on, yeah, login on prepmedia.com and login. Once you've logged in, right, you will see your avatar at this point right click on that and you will see enroll courses right click on that enroll courses and you should see the courses that you've been enrolled for or there's also an icon here right you wish you can click and once you click on it you will give you the side panel right so at the side panel you have different things so 
because some of you are actually added, so you don't need to look at my order. You need to look at enrolled courses, okay? Enrolled courses, when you go to the enrolled courses, you see this, uh, all the courses that you've enrolled for. Hopefully, it's going to be one, or for a lot of people, maybe it might be more than one. Then you click on start course, okay? Once you click on start course, it takes you to this place, right? So based on your courses, you might have different sections. Click on that sections. It will expand it for you, right? Once it's been expanded, click on the videos that you want to watch. And then it will open the video section on the left, on the right, rather. So once it open, click on the play button and that's it, right? So that is the process. It's a five simple um, steps that you need to follow for you to be able to watch the video on Prep Major. So now talking about the uh, timetable, this is a rough timetable of what's going to happen, right? I said from Monday, right? You're going to have the uh, introductory to all the courses. So this is basically introductory to all the courses from nine to 10 anyway. So you're going to have that. So yeah, so from yeah nine to 10. So if you miss any of this, it's going to be recorded. You can watch it, but I would advise you to tune in uh, so I can ask questions. So then from that, we'll start the sprint zero, right? So you have opportunity. You have opportunity to introduce your team members. You're going to see that. Then also, then you have your scrum ceremonies will start. And then you have scrum ceremonies, yeah, workshop. We'll talk about what is ceremonies. So some people now talking about ceremonies, what runs in your head is different from what I okay. Hello, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So, okay. So I, I learned, okay, the admin are telling me that this is already been updated anyway, but this, this just give, um, will give you a guideline of what you are going to expect anyway. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you the one later. I think they've got a new version anyway. So, but, so this is just giving you insight of what you're going to, what your day will look like. So we do this scrum ceremonies and I, like i was saying when you talk about ceremony what runs in people's head is, is different from what we're talking about this is not ceremony as in parties is a different thing but we'll let you know from that anyway so that would happen so and that from this four to the 11 so this is kind of what you you are going to expect so then the 11 to the 17 like that like this one anyway the 17 to the 20. I know I'm going fast anyway, you don't need to worry. So we'll send you this particular um, calendar so that you can be able to plan. So then day 24 to day 30, you can see everything's already mapped out. So you got everything there. So on and on like that anyway. So you 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 see the pipeline. So, okay. Now, talking about goodness. Uh, so now we've, we've done well for ourselves anyway. And we've kind of got some nominations and also some awards actually. So one of them is this one, Global Business Award. We are nominated as the best um, non-profit educational institution in 2003. So I would say top up to, to my team. It's really, really good. So so well done for, for that. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's really, really good to, to bring that up. And yeah, we've been able to achieve that with with everyone even yes it's sometimes good when your good work is being rewarded so with what you you have done so this is this is really is good so okay and also yeah uh i'm also happy to announce that uh one of our intern yeah i was sitting in two sessions ago is now a deputy mayor of an or uh, of a council right so his, his name is uh, daniel Adewale King, as, as you can see him here, yeah, actually, is the deputy mayor so of a of a county in, in the UK. So um we are happy to be part of, of his success story anyway. So okay. And yeah, quickly I'll just talk about different testimonies. So I will be fast. So this is so that you can get encouraged because I also want to hear your testimony at the end of the program anyway, so that you can be able to yeah, share it as well. So yeah. So this is what someone is talking about. So, and 
Okay, sorry. I think someone is saying I put 2003 somewhere. Okay, yeah, it's okay, 2023, if that's right. So someone is trying to correct me. So yeah, so this is present anyway. So best non-profit educational institution, 2023. Yeah, so they just corrected me. Okay, all right. So, okay, all right, testimonies, okay. So this is another one, uh, for, yeah, after the graduation, it's got a job as test analyst. This is another one, a Kiwi role as well. Um, this is another one, ADM role, a agile delivery manager, right? So this is another one, yeah. So I, I'm not going to read this one anyway. So yeah, this is yeah. Okay. So okay. So just to point out different things. So and to be honest, uh, one thing I want to say, most of this journey is by hard work. You need to do a lot of work, actually. So and hard work pays and we, yeah. So and you're going to be rewarded for that anyway. So, OK, so this is I think I've, I've seen this one. This is another one as well. And this is another one for business, senior business analyst in the healthcare sector. And this is another one for a BA one. This is a Kiwi role. And to, yeah, maybe I should mention this person. This person is actually in the US anyway, and he did the internship and also the advance anyway. So, and even what, yeah, he actually got a job in, in the US with a big consultancy company in, in the US anyway. If, at least the, the big four, you know what it means anyway. So yeah, and this is another DRO as well. Yeah, anyway. So and this is another offer. I can't even see what this role is about. Yeah, anyway. So yeah. So and there are other ones as well, anyway. So that you can see, yeah. And this is a different one as well. These are a bit far off anyway. So you can see. Um, different. This is this person actually said he got around three, yeah, and he got a role, and you got even some of the interns actually got different multiple roles, and they are a bit confused which one to take anyway. So yeah, so and yeah, this is different of us. So I think yeah, I'll just go quickly because of the time. Yeah, oh. so the you have lots of recommendations and and one thing I want to say now is. Most of these roles, yeah, the earnings is from 25,000 to 55, no, 65,000. So, and some of them, you took them three months to, to get there. Some of them took them two years. Yeah. So, yeah, your journey will be different from other people, right? So, yeah, even when during this internship, I know some people before they finish this, this internship, they'll get jobs because in the last internship that we are about finishing, uh, we had references that it came from different people anyway. So, okay. So someone is asking if you're in the Norway, will you get jobs? So yeah. So the answer is yes. So uh, I, I don't know that we had people in, in Norway yet, but one thing I know, we have people in Germany, we have people in Spain. I've got even some of your mentors also are, are in Spain as well, and they are actually working in Spain. And yeah, and they did this program as well. Anyway, and presently working in Spain. Uh, can, yeah, so when the program starts, we can talk about that one instead. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. And also, we've got people in Canada as well, and Australia is another place that we got people as well. And one thing I also want to say is like, even we have people in Nigeria. One of my mentors actually lived in Nigeria and worked with a company in Portugal, actually. So yeah, so even in Nigeria, I got a job with a company in Portugal and yeah. So it's, yeah, you have different flavors for different people anyway. So yeah, it's, you know, I will, don't worry about this one. Yeah. So another thing I want to say also, yeah, oh, even though we do this professional also, we still believe in the power of prayer as well. So if you want to join, yeah, we have this pastoral care anyway. So we believe that, yeah. Mm, Prayer can move mountain. Anyway, so okay, this is another one. We also we are also shortlisted for for this award as well, Digital Revolution Award, which we also got shortlisted for as well. So yeah, 
So, but to be honest, we didn't win anyway. So, but we are we are the finalists anyway. So, and yeah, so this is the, the award anyway. So we are shortlisted with, <laughs> uh, yeah, Code Fest, you know, Deliveroo, uh, Cap Gemini, and we can see all those big names. So, and yeah, so but it's it's an honor to be shortlisted with these people and as being a finalist and sitting on the same panel and yeah. So, but yeah, it's a shame we did not win anyway. So, okay. So at the end, you also going to be given a certificate. It looks like like this anyway. Yeah. So this is also another recognition that we add as well, and also from the mayor. Okay. So I think that is it anyway. So for let me even speak for those guys that you've not actually applied. You still you still can apply. Yeah. So even, yes, because next week is going to be just introductory to the session. So you can still apply until I think some roles are kind of a bit full. I need to speak to that mean, I think. So most especially maybe the, yeah. So but, uh, but right now we'll still leave it open until maybe Sunday, right? So and we'll, we'll make a call. But if you have someone that wants to, uh, you want them in the program, please do ask them to apply as soon as possible, or uh, if not today, unfortunately tomorrow. So yeah, the role is already kind of being filled up uh, very, very fast. Uh, right now, I think we have almost like 40 people in the program. So, and yeah, so let's yeah ensure that we spread the news. Like I said, this is just empowerment. Uh, we just have to empower as many people as possible, and you never know who's going to get it. So spread the news and yeah. So, okay, I think that is it. So, okay, let me leave it out. Yeah, for any question, uh, admin, if you can stop the recording and start another one, please. Thank you.